some newly, I can't say newly, newly. It sounds like newly. Oh. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I am here with some newly released books for the months of August to October 2021 that I have been sent by publishers and I just thought I would share them with you all. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book I have is from Penguin Teen and they sent me... Devils in the Device by Laura Beth Johnson. This is released on August 24th, 2021. So by the time you see this video, this has been released for, I think, like two weeks now. But this is the sequel to The Goddess in the Machine. I believe it's a duology, so I believe this is the finale, but it might be a trilogy. Don't take my word for it. I actually have The Goddess in the Machine. This is what it looks like. So this is the sequel to it. I don't really want to give you a synopsis on this because it kind of spoils the first book, but I will say I did really enjoy this one. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars, so I definitely think y'all should read the duology because it's a lot of fun. At least the first book was. I still have not read the second book, but I'm assuming it's going to be a good time. It follows Andra, who is put into a cryonic sleep, and she is meant to wake up a hundred years into the future to help repopulate the new world, but she ends up waking up a thousand years into the future, so everybody she knows is gone, she is lost basically, and then when she wakes up everybody starts calling her a goddess. So she turns to Zaid, who is the bastard prince, for help, and it's like the story of that. So I definitely recommend picking up this duology because uh, the first book was really great. Obviously, I have not read this one yet, but I will be picking up very shortly because this left off on a cliffhanger, so I do want to know where it goes in the second book, and I'm very excited to find out. Next up, from Simon & Schuster Canada, I was sent Vespertine by Margaret Rogerson, and I am so freaking excited about this because I read Sorcery of Thorns very recently and I really enjoyed the writing of it so I am definitely intrigued to pick up another one of her books. It says that it is a thrilling new fantasy about a young woman who must defend her world against restless spirits of the dead. It follows Artemisia who is a grey sister which are nuns who cleanse the bodies of the deceased and make sure that their souls make it to the afterlife. If they are not cleansed then these souls will rise as very hungry, ravenous beings who feast on the rest of humanity. Her convent ends up being attacked by a pack of possessed soldiers and when she fights back she ends up raising the spirit of a revenant, which is a malicious spirit. The only way to make this revenant go away is to find a vespertine who is a priestess who is able to wield a high relic. But Vespertines have been lost to the world for many years, and so she turns to the Revenant itself for more information. But as I said, I think that this book sounds really cool, and I really enjoyed the writing style that I read in Sorcery of Thorns, so I am definitely intrigued by this book. Next up, I have two books from the same publisher called Poisoned Pen. They're by the same author, and I am very excited about them. The first one is The Whispering Dead, and and the second one is The Haunting of Leah Harper. These are both by Darcy Coates. This one was released in May, but they asked me to talk about the books together because this one was released on September 7th. They are both horror fiction, so I love a good horror book. I've never actually read from this author, but I do think that they sound very cool. They're also both haunted house haunted cottage stories, so I am definitely intrigued. This one's the haunted cottage. This one is the haunted house. I am definitely going to be saving these for October so I can get in the spooky mood of Halloween, but I am very, very excited for both of them. I think they're also available from Source because that's the Source logo, but the actual publisher is Poison Pen, so I'm assuming it is just an imprint off of them, but I'm intrigued. I'm excited. We love a good horror story. Next up is one that I am 
so freaking excited for. It is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I am a huge fan of the Carvel series. I know a lot of people don't really enjoy that series, but I had the best time reading it. So I believe that this takes place in that world, but it follows the Prince of Hearts. He strikes a deal with a girl named Evangeline Fox. She learns that the love of her life is going to marry somebody else, and so she decides that she's going to go to the Prince of Hearts and make it not so. He says he will grant her wish for three kisses. After the first kiss, she discovers that he wants a little bit more than what she bargained for and that he has plans for her that may end in a happily ever after or may destroy her altogether and it's like the story of that. But like I said, I loved Carval so I am so so excited to get to read this very shortly. This is another one that releases September 2021. Next up from Simon & Schuster Canada, I got The Charm Offensive. This is by Alison Cockchurn and this one Gabby from Gabby Reads recently read and really really enjoyed. This is another one that releases in September 2021 but it is about a producer of a reality TV show that I believe is very similar to The Bachelor. Same idea, you know, dating multiple women at one time. Uh, his name is Dev. The contestant on the show is a man named Charlie. He is a disgraced tech wonder kid, so he's kind of doing this for publicity. And as they spend more time together off the show, because Dev is trying to get him to open up on camera, they get to know each other a lot more and realize that they have a lot of chemistry together much more than Charlie does with the 20 female contestants. Apparently the romance is very cute and I am here for a cute romance. Sometimes you just need, you know, a fluffy little contemporary in between all of the horror and thrillers and fantasy you're reading to get your palette ready again, you know? Now we're getting into the books that are being released in October 2021. The first one that I have is, so this is Christmas by Tracy Andern, and I think this is funny that it's a Christmas book coming out in October, but you know, that's just me. But this follows a girl whose grandmother owns a Holiday Inn, and a boy named Arthur who is in her class who she believes to be a very snobby and just she's not the biggest fan of, ends up coming to the resort for for the holidays and as they spend more time together they begin to fall for each other and she realizes he may not be as big as of a snob as she once believed so it's like you know your cute little Christmas holiday rom-com I hope it's really cute I'll probably be saving this for December I'm not gonna lie to y'all because I like reading Christmas books when it's snowing out next up is fairy man by Claire McFall I think this one sounds really good I'm actually gonna read you guys the tagline that it came with because it sold the book for me. It says, after a deadly train crash, the afterlife is waiting for Dylan, but that's only if she and her intriguing fairy man can make it across the demon infested wasteland and if she can bear to let him go. In like Greek mythology, there's a fairy man who brings the dead souls to Hades, the underworld. And so he is the fairy man for Dylan and then they fall in love and I am so intrigued because I've never read a book like that and I'm personally a huge fan of Greek mythology so I am so intrigued by this and so excited to pick it up. I think it's gonna be a really good paranormal romance so I'm here for it. And then the final book that I have I'm also pretty excited for, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but it is All of Us Villains by Amanda Foody and Christine Lynn Herman. I am a huge fan of the Ace of Shades series by Amanda Foody, so when I found out that she was writing another book, I instantly jumped on it and was like, I need that in my life. I read The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman and it was like average. I think I gave it four out of five stars, but honestly I'm pretty much only reading this because of Amanda Foodie because I love her writing. This is similar to the Hunger Games, like the tagline is you fell in love with the victors of Hunger Games, now prepare to meet the villains of the Blood Veil. It's basically like a Hunger Games like challenge that these seven families have in order to determine who is going to have power over the high magic of this city. I can't remember from the synopsis if it is every year or every couple of years, but this tournament happens and this one family has ruled for many, many, many years, but now there's more of a challenge with the other families and that may not be the case this time around, so it's like the story of that, but I am so intrigued by this because 
like I said, Amanda Foodie. Alright everybody, so those were the multiple books that I received for the months of August to October 2021 of new books that are going to be released at some point this year and I am so, so excited to read them all. Thank you so much to all the publishers who sent these my way. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!